The complete Anon Sonar Lens Guide, coming up next. There's a lot of them. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with my good friend Mark from Anon to talk about every sonar lens color. There's, a lot of them. There's so many. If you're still not sure which color combo is right for you, feel free to call SportRx. We have real live opticians on the phone that would love to help you. We don't even have a phone tree. When you call, a real human picks it up every time. It's pretty rad. And we'd love for you to follow us on the Instagram at SportRx. Okay, so there's 11 sonar lenses ranging from really sunny days to right. night riding. For sure. And we're gonna just quickly go over all the lens colors and the name and I'll handsomely put them on for you. I'm wearing the M4 in case you're curious which amazing goggle this is. This is the uh, SportRx award-winning M4 goggle. It does come with the MFI technology, which is pretty rad. And you can get it in a prescription insert. But what you're here to hear about are the lenses. So the darkest lens is the silver, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. So silver is, one of the cool things about, we think it's real important with Magnatech is that there isn't a single lens that works for every condition out there. You really need a variety of lenses. So. All of our Magnatech goggles and our M-Fusion goggles come with two lenses. Very easy to interchange. It's something that every customer can do. So you always have a perfect pairing of a sunny lens and a low light lens. And they're kind of paired to work well together. Yeah, like when you get an M4, you get two lenses. And it, you guys have well thought out about if you need this lens, then this is the right partner lens for Correct. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, let's start with the silver. Yeah, so silver is our darkest lens. It's a reddish base, so it's our true sonar base beneath it with a black mirror on it, and it's really for your sunniest of conditions. Very high contrast. And this lets uh, only 6% of light in. Correct. So this exactly. is a dark, serious it's dark. lens. Yeah. yeah. But it has a beautiful rose tint. When I'm looking at it, it doesn't feel like everything's neutral or washed out. It's still giving me a lot of contrast, but it's it's pretty dark and it's pretty bright behind those cameras with those lights. So I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this one right now. Okay, so the darkest lens is silver at 6%. Correct. The next is smoke. Smoke. So smoke, one thing that's you know been iconic with Anon since day one is is just a flat gray lens that's been kind mm -hmm. of a stealth look, this anonymous look of yeah. Anon. And so we recreate that with Sonar Smoke. So it's a high contrast Ooh. smoke lens. So you still get that benefits of Sonar where it's enhancing your vision. It's reducing the blue light. So it's really enhancing that on smoke. I'm getting a tinge of rose There's within the bit. smoke. But when you're looking at me, it's a smoked out lens. You look smoked out. You look stealth. That's pretty cool. And it's 7%. Correct. Exactly. Okay, now there's some people out there that are kind of shiny and blingy For and sure. like to be loud. Um, and we like mirrors. So the first one is the red. For sure. Yeah, okay. so our loudest red mirror is uh, is Sonar Red and it's a 14% VLT. And it's based on kind of our mid-range base, but with a heavy red mirror on it. So this is smooth. It's a great lens. I like this. Super high contrast. It really brightens everything up. And yeah. we kind of, this category, this category here up to bronze, we could really consider this like our sunny collection. Yeah, so the first two were for like blue bird, mm -hmm. bright, not a cloud. And then the next two, the red and about to get in the bronze is kind of in the mostly sunny, partly sunny, yep. kind of regular. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that most was the people red. Gonna experience out there. And then oh. next is gonna be bronze. Bronze, so, so same base tint, so same, you know, it's same that the really high contrast, but now you've got a little more subdued mirror. So you have okay. a gold mirror as opposed to a red mirror. Like so gold. to look through it very similar, it's this is really an aesthetic thing. And it jumped from 14% to 19%. Correct. So similar hue, but a little bit uh, lighter lens. And I'm kind of feeling that 5% difference yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was a nice little jump. Really, really good contrast though. I'm really noticing that sonar technology. So now we're gonna get into green. Correct, so now you're getting into our partly cloudy conditions. And these, if you were to choose one lens to try and do everything, this uh, is kind of that lens. So middle of the road. Middle, it's super bright. You know, yeah. when you put this on, it's really like the headlights start turning on. It really amplifies the contrast, but still with a really strong green mirror. So you have that look where customers can't, your, your friends really can't see your eyes okay. behind it but you've got a really good high contrast. Line. So it's 23%. Exactly. Okay, so next is infrared blue. Correct, we call it IR blue. And so again, this is a light blue mirror on top of that same base tint. And so. this one was in 39% of light. Correct. So it's definitely getting to that middle of the road. Yes. One lens does most things okay yep, exactly. kind of situation. Or if it's a day where things are changing really quick, 
um, this is kind of nice. So this is the IR blue, and yeah. then the pink is the same transmission. Correct, it's just, just with a pink mirror. But this one's beautiful. Yeah, and so, you know, really with these mid-range lenses, it's, you know, are you, you know, certain customers are more um, impacted by sun, or some customers have more of a hard time in low light conditions. Yeah. So this kind of either becomes your sunniest lens if you really are concerned about low light conditions or it becomes your cloudy lens if you're really concerned about sunny conditions. So. I'm winking a lot because I'm wearing the pink. It, I think looks, it looks great. Cool, but I don't it know if you can see me winking underneath the goggle, but I'm just doing that for fun. Okay, so now we're going to low light conditions, right? So these are the lenses that are normally installed as your secondary lens. Okay. So this is your true cloudy low light storm condition lens. So the first one is Sonar Blue. So this is our lowest light base tint, but with a blue light blue mirror on it. Okay. So it still looks great, you know, still hard to see your eyes through it, but really amplifies in low light conditions. And this one's 40% light transmission. Okay. Exactly. Nice, I like this one. And then okay. follow up, my favorite of the low light lenses, infrared. Uh, infrared is a light I'm red mirror. Sorry, pardon me. What do I do with my hands? Light red mirror on top of that same. So similar, very similar to Sonar Blue, but with a light red mirror. So again, kind of amplifying the contrast. And the percentages jump right now. We Absolutely. went from 40 to 57. Um, which one's more common as the second lens in your packages? Or is Pretty it about similar. Split it's up? about split up. Okay, so if you're more concerned about low light, if you really want a lighter lens with more boost, uh, look for a setup that has your second lens as infrared. Correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. And then you even have a night one because in Vermont, there's uh, night skiing. Correct, and there's a lot of places with, with night skiing. And so this is a lens that's made specifically for artificial Ooh. light. Oh, wow. So it's a very low light, but still has that sonar contrast, but it's made specifically for riding under artificial lights. You know, so the helium lamps that you mm -hmm. find at a traditional night skiing resort. I've so. never been night snowboarding or skiing. I've been night mountain biking a lot. Do I've never done night. I actually love night mountain biking, so I assume it's similar. It's really fun. Yeah. It's a fun, you know, again, if a lot of people work all day long, still want to get out at night, yeah. or you get those, you know, all day long storms, you want to get powder at night. It's a great lens. And this one lets in 77% of light, which you would think might sound too dark for night, but because of the technology and how Correct. bright those artificial lights are, it feels really clear. And I am, we do have a lot of artificial lights behind the cameras that you all can't see. So that was your guide on all the sonar lenses. Yes. Hopefully that uh, did some clarification for you. It can seem a little bit overwhelming, but basically no, if you're getting any of the Magnatech goggles, you're gonna have two lenses and one's gonna be for bright light and one's gonna be for low light. So it's kind of a cool, they've already thought about it yeah. for you really. Uh, if you still have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Uh, we will get back to you or you can call us, like I said, you can email us. Um, and if this video was helpful, we would love a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. We, we want you to see more of us, bye. Thank you.